No, he, he always wants the ball. He puts himself really wide in a position where he's always available. He wants to go forward. He wants to beat a player. If 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 teams are doubling up on him, then he shifts the ball and he puts the cross in. He can go to the byline and almost lift it to the back post. He can smash it across the goal, pick people out. He can score goals. He timing of his runs, the goal at the weekend against um, Motherwell, where Rogic played him through. He made a great run. Um, I think it was, um, uh, what's the Stephen, um, the Scotland Motherwell right back? Stephen O'Donnell. Stephen O'Donnell, yes. sorry. Got he, didn't, behind he, didn't him, where, yeah. he didn't know where to go. And he's, yeah. he's, he's meant to be a top class right back. I'm not saying he isn't, but Jota totally sort mm. of outdone him at, with his run, just in that blind side of Stephen O'Donnell. And then he finished it off. Then the goalkeeper probably shouldn't get down on his near post, but it's still a good finish. And if I was Celtic, I know they've got a little bit of time on their hands because he's contracted to a year. Uh, he's a year mm. on loan. Yeah, I'm not too sure whether Benfica can move the goalposts in terms of wanting more than if it's down on paper and it's in the contract. But Celtic have got time. Let's have a look to see how he continues because a lot, a lot of players can come and be outstanding for three or four or five games and then just drop off. And then that tells you a little bit more about the player. But I would look at maybe... December, going into January, if he's still showing the form that he's showing, making goals, scoring goals, this type of player that he is, um, you know, I, th I think they're going to have to come up with the money to buy him because he's young, he's exciting, he's going to go on and play for Portugal, the senior team, you know. So yeah. for me, if he continues in the, in the rich vein of form that he's playing, and there's no rush to do it now. Give it another two or three months and then Celtic will have to get that checkbook out. And the manager, Ange, this is where if he's doing well and they're really they're on top of the league or they're really close to Rangers and there's a big decision needed, a big player called for, what a boost that would be if Celtic could go and sign Jota in a couple of months' time. Because yeah. I think he's good enough. I think he's outstanding. Yeah, I, I think you've got to give it another couple of months. See his yeah. levels of consistency if he continues this then you know he's a real deal because you you know it's like the demands and the expectations put on you at the old firm. Look, there's no doubt he's had a great start. Mm. Very direct, dynamic, um, wide player. Um, and he works. He does work hard. It's always a worry when you come for the Portuguese league. It's more technical and it's slower. You know, it's Scottish games like it's 100 mile an hour, but he's mm. adapted. He's adapted really well and he's added goals to his games. So I, I think if he continues this sort of form, uh, up to the Christmas period then I think Celtic would be crazy not to go and try and make that signature at £6.5 million